All right guys, so some time's gone by and there's a little bit of a change of plans. So let me kind of just run through what has roughly happened since the last clip you guys saw. I took basically everything I had to the machine shop. Originally we were gonna slip the rods on ourselves and then we realized we got the first one in and then our second one we put in stopped halfway. It wouldn't go all the way through the rod. Um, so we stopped, that's a good time to stop. You don't wanna keep pressing it or trying to make it fit otherwise you're gonna break the piston. So the next morning at 6 a.m. I went down to the machine shop. They basically did a full run through and swapped all the rods for me uh, so I didn't risk breaking them they're done but we'll talk more about that later but right now what we got going on is I went ahead and I got DOE 302 cylinder heads these are uh, 1970 casting 302 cylinder heads these are a lot larger port than what I had before um, significantly larger and then same with the intake port much larger, much taller runner um, than you can see there. This is kind of like your bang for your buck, like cheap old hot rod trick to like get better compression. Uh, the other thing about these that are really, really trick is that these are a closed chamber uh, 58 or 57 cc, a really small combustion chamber. Uh, so basically with the piston that I'm running, this thing's gonna be like over 10 to one, which is freaking rad. Um, assuming everything clears, which it should. So uh, I'm gonna basically just time lapse through this real quick. You guys saw me do the detailed uh, like refresh, I guess, on a cylinder heads with a white galaxy. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow these things apart, clean them, put them back together, and uh, run it. You know, it's kind of, I don't have much of a choice. I have, I have no time right now. So it's about 10.30 at night right now, a little bit after. So I gotta get these done before midnight, both of them done, painted, and put back together. So I'm gonna get right to it. All right, looks like we're gonna start today's video off with this thing. It's our cleaned up block that we kind of ended the last video with. You know, everything's all clean and new. You can see we have cross hatching in all the cylinders. Those are all good. This is a 30 over block. This is the original block out of my truck. Um, and then we got all the Keith blacks pressed on. They look amazing. You know, everything in here is all new. So these are all 30 over Keith black 5cc domes. Uh, there's the part number actually for them right there if you're curious on the same setup. Uh, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing slapped together. I gotta finish my set of cylinder heads that I was doing last night. I didn't finish because I ran out of air pressure and it was too late to turn the air compressor on. So I'm gonna finish rebuilding these and then uh, go ahead and get this crankshaft put in and get the bearings put in, flip that motor upside down, get the short block assembled. So we're gonna go ahead and start sitting in all the lower bearings. You can see I put the main one in the center in. Uh, I'm just gonna press, through, push them all in and then set the crank and then put the upper ones in the caps and then torque them all down and test and check all my clearances and just basically start getting the short block put together.
set of rings. Now my hand's all covered in oil, so that makes it even more of a pain in the butt. Okay, now they're all good. So I'm trying to compress this ring and get it installed so I can... I've done this a couple times, but it's, it's one of those things where you need three hands, and I know somebody's probably watching it saying there's a way better way to do this, but I don't really care. I just need to get this in. So I'm gonna do what I know how to do. <laughs> hey, the gloves are here. Thanks. Some adequate. Wow. I really need to go to school and learn how to build engines because there's a way better, more efficient engine way to do this. Well, usually you're also supposed to take a little more than three days to do it. That's probably the most important part, <laughs> which I didn't do, and I'm not gonna do, and I probably never do. But I got these donuts things, which are cool. Neat. Scratch cranks are no good. Yeah, I just spent a bunch of money to have that thing polished, so. Let's put it in. Mm. Woohoo! Okay, we're in. You got it? Yep. Just on the one. Stop. One then. Amazing. Oh, that's painful. Literally. Oh, yeah, there's the blood. There's the blood. Screw those little cheap tools. This thing suck. Yummy. Nice. Where's your rod cap? Number three. Number three. Good? Yep. Keep going. Oh, no, no. Oh, I lied. They just hammered in with the ring. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, I, saw oh, I saw a ring. Maybe it's got a big enough ring gap. It's okay. <laughs> Just keep going. Keep going. Stop. I'm coming. Get Wait, did you do the crank? Yeah, it's, it's, the crank. Yeah, it's, in, it. it's in the right spot. I just hear the rings. Oh, dude, you're getting way better at it. Dude, I love this professional engine building tool. <laughs> dude, great. you're kicking ass. Yeah. Look at that deck surface right there. Isn't that crazy? Like, just oh, watch the gaskets. Don't let those fall. Just see yeah, if you go from the side, you can literally see the piston pops up. Don't mind the marks on the piston. Okay. <laughs> Halfway there. These stupid forks. Sean's like, Sean's truck doesn't run. I draw Sharpie. I think I'm gonna ride on him which one will blow up. <laughs> I think you should. You won't be able to see it. It'll be gone immediately, <laughs> but whatever. It's supposed to go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one will blow? What if you only have a six cylinder? Eeny, Does that make any work? Miny, mo. Blow. <laughs> That's terrible. It's okay. Woohoo! Are the pistons fun. in the right direction? Probably oh, backwards. <laughs> I started that. Dang, look at that fancy thing. Oh, Wonder who brought that. Just bought it myself. <laughs> Thanks, Seth. It's work, man. You're lucky we were even torquing it. <laughs> I was about to break out the impact on it. A couple of duggas is good. Yeah, dude. Ugga dugga, torque to spec. I bet you you could build an, an motor with an impact that would probably just hold together. Yeah, that'd be fine. I mean, um. Should you? Yes. Torque crunches aren't that expensive. How much is this torque crunch? Uh, I don't want to say. I mean, that's an expensive torque crunch. I mean, I bought it at school, so. Those are five hundred dollars. I don't think my school sells these. Uh, I got that for like three fifty at school. How much is it regularly? Like six hundred something. I use it every day. Like sorry, <laughs> just you know, listen to that ratchet. I know it actually feels pretty good. I don't know. I mean, it feels kind of cheap, honestly. 
Yeah, I play. think that's your Harbor Freight socket. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's the one that's putting all the torque down, dude. <laughs> all 26 foot pounds of it. Dude, she's working pretty hard. Man. You told me to bring the yeah. torque wrench, not the socket. That's true. I guess I got the light. Let's make it feel uncomfortable. <laughs> no. I swear, you better not put music over this so people can just hear us talking about South Park and <laughs> torque wrenches. <laughs> What's going over there? We cracked the code. Oh, what a soak. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting high over there. I, dude, I walked over there for a second. And just, that's all I could smell. Why are they laughing so much? Oh, it's just like chipping off. Yeah. That's a lot, a lot better. Is this a lot of play to you? No. Because uh, before you could about take the chain off. Oh, dude, you know what realize? Hmm. <laughs> Which normally won't matter, or in our case isn't gonna matter. Um, this punch is not long enough to put a fuel pump concentric on. You know why it doesn't matter? Because you're running an electric fuel pump? Because I have an electric fuel pump. It's actually in the bolt. But do you need a space? I thought I had the longer one, but apparently not. That's weird, because this is the one. Oh, you know why? The cam's not all the way. No, it's the chain. The, this gear is different. I think this gear is for a late model motor. And so it sticks out further right here because this is a thick gear. But I don't know. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's, it's grape and Skittles. I'm going to so increase the volume just for that like split second of the clip. All right, so we have a short block, which is freaking sweet. Now you guys can see these Keith Blacks on a stock three inch stroke 302 look pretty killer in there. Uh, everything went together, everything rotates. We have valve train stuff. Uh, we have an oil pump. Now we're about to flip it over and put the pan on, but I just wanted to show you all this goodness, you know, before I do so. Uh, they came out pretty good. Everything looks good in there. You're not going to be able to see the camshaft, but you can see those dome tops. They look pretty good in there. So, yeah, I want to flip this thing over. We got a little party in there. Look, we got a heater. We got people drinking, drinking stuff and doing stuff and stuff bringing all the tools. It's a party in here. All right, we're time for some cylinder heads. Hopefully these things fit. These are pretty small domes, but they're still domes, so I'm just toss them on and torque them down. engine now <laughs> um let me flat out honest with you guys it's uh 11 30 at night i'm still gonna finish this thing tonight but uh i picked this motor up at like 8 or 9 a.m this morning and it was a bare block with no pistons or anything in it uh the only thing i had was the crank the block the rods on the they were hung on the pistons or pistons hung on the rods and uh i had to put it all together so now it's looking a lot more like what i'm comfortable with and it spins over, it's correctly timed, and everything looks like it should work now, which is good. So, I'm pretty happy about that. I am uh, probably gonna go ahead and finish putting this thing together, get all the gaskets put on it, and shoot some paint on it tonight. We do have a heater in here, so it's a lot warmer, so it's warm enough to paint. Um, so I'm just gonna get the rest of this motor together and come back to you guys when it's together.
All right, our engine's all done, ready to go back in. Um, I didn't really talk too much about the specs on this motor, so I'll give you guys a brief rundown. This thing is now considered a 306, uh, and that's because it's a 30 over, 302. Uh, it has Keith Black dome top pistons. It's a negative five cc dome. Uh, now it's up flush against the deck of the block. It has a five cc dome that comes up into the in the combustion chamber. And these are uh, DOE 1970 302 heads. These have really small uh, 58 cc combustion chambers or closed port or closed chamber heads. Uh, and then we have a Comp 280H cam in this thing, so it should have a 280 duration, 512 lift with 110 degrees lobe separation angle. So this thing should be a pretty stout setup, assuming everything clears and everything works right. Um, you know, you gotta also keep in mind it's my first engine, so I checked a few tolerances there, um, but we just don't unfortunately have the time to kind of go over and check every single little thing. Um, so I'm assuming everything will clear just fine, but you know, that's kind of like someone's famous last words. Uh, but you see this thing looks came out really good looks really good. I'm really stoked with the way it came out uh, But we're gonna go ahead and get the chain hooked up and get this thing stabbed into the f100 All right guys, so there you have it put the motor together in one day uh, That's a little bit much for what I thought it was capable of at least um, and I also want you guys to keep in mind, we did check a lot of those tight tolerances, but we did it off camera, uh, stuff like green gap and bearing gap, stuff like that, uh, just because it's a time consuming process and we needed to focus. Um, but yeah, put a motor together in 24 hours. I got the bare block like Tuesday, Wednesday morning, and then, uh, yeah, Tuesday morning, and I had it together like ready to go in the truck Wednesday morning as well. Um, so that's not bad. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> so massive thank you to everybody that was at my house helping out, you know, Sean, Seth, and everybody else that was around. Uh, it really meant a lot to me. But we're gonna dive right into this. The next video, we're gonna get this thing in the truck and running, and uh, hopefully in time for Dino's get down and get this thing out to Arizona uh, for that show to meet up with a bunch of other Ford trucks and hopefully put this thing on display right around a bunch of six-figure trucks, which would be really, really cool for me. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Like today's video if you did enjoy it. Share it with a friend. Comment down below what you guys think. Uh, I'll leave all the specs for my engine down in the description, so I'll lay out everything that you guys need to know on it. I know I was a little bit short with a lot of the info on it. I was just trying to get it done, so I don't have a minute to kind of just walk around and be like, yeah, there's this, this, and this in the motor. Um, it's a fairly stock setup still, but it does have the pistons and a couple other things. So I'll leave down the full specs of what's in my motor down in the description below. So go check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys are not going to want to miss.